it's another sports game, so you know this is going to be a short video. I searched around trying to find anything special or interesting about soccer, but even my Japanese sources don't care too much about the game. I did find a fan site for it in Japanese. I've read that the sport wasn't very popular in Japan in 1985, but the sales on soccer doesn't bear that out. Nintendo sold over 1.5 million copies of it. So I'm not sure why Nintendo's soccer faded away while things like baseball stuck around in popular consciousness. If I had to guess, though, I'd say it's because this isn't a very good soccer game. Like in Nintendo's other early sports offerings, there's no difference between the teams in soccer. You're simply picking a jersey, color, and what letters appear at the top of the scoreboard. The five difficulty levels range from totally brain dead to can run circles around you. The timing is not accurate. 15 minute halves are actually about three minutes long in the game. There's only six players aside in this soccer game and the pitch is similarly scaled down. This feels like a tiny soccer match rather than a full-fledged game. Superficially, the controls seem easy enough. The D-pad moves you around, B passes, and A shoots. But there's a lot of secondary things that are happening too. As you move up and down, you're changing where you're aiming on the goal. Picking out who you're passing to is a real pain and it's actually pretty hard to maintain control of the ball. Meanwhile, it seems to be pretty easy to intercept balls that are being passed. If you've got some people moving in to block you, you're probably not going to be able to pass the ball to get it away from them. It's difficult to change what direction you're running because you don't automatically maintain control of the ball. If the goalie is on screen, you're controlling them simultaneously with your own player. The way players move together and the ball doesn't necessarily stay under your control, it feels like you're playing foosball rather than soccer. I'm not convinced that the AI is particularly strong either. Beating it on level 1 was effortless, even as somebody who hadn't played this game in well over a decade. Yet yeah, level 5 pushed me around but I wasn't really seeing anything interesting in its behavior. The simplistic behavior was making me think that if I was willing to stick with the game for an hour or so, I'd be able to beat level 5 too. But that would require me wanting to keep playing soccer. So here's the thing. We're going to get a lot better soccer games on the Famicom. In the early 90s, there's a bit of a soccer boom in Japan, and there's some very late Famicom soccer games that actually look pretty solid. If you want a more strategic soccer game, there's the Captain Tsubasa games. If you want a more action-y game, there's the two Kunio games. There's no reason to go back and play Nintendo soccer.